pull back, heels on the horizon, and then just push the stick over. Now? Yep. Woohoo! Little bit more heel on. Woohoo! So, this incredible adventure began when I needed to fly my 1974 Cherokee 180 to Spanish Fork to get its 100 hour inspection done. Incidentally, I also needed to drop off one of my daughters in the big city. So just a few weeks before we were scheduled to leave, I remembered that I had met somebody who runs an advanced flight training facility called Full Deflection in the same airport. So we decided to kill two birds with one stone and scheduled two flight instruction sessions. One for my daughter, Maddie, who's an aspiring pilot, and one for myself. During pre-flight and while loading up my daughter's baggage, I was reminded how much I love this Cherokee 180 and how easy it is to carry what you need with such a low fuel burn of less than 10 gallons per hour. All right, let's get ready to go. The flight there was uneventful and very smooth at 10,500 feet, which is quite unusual for flying over these high mountains of the Wasatch Range. After arriving and dropping the plane off with my mechanic, we strolled over to full deflection and was introduced to our instructor, Sam. Sam did a great job of determining what we wanted to accomplish during these flights, and then he proceeded to brief us on how the maneuvers would be performed. After spending some time discussing the maneuvers, Sam introduced us to the Pitts S2B. It was a beautiful aircraft. After some training on safety, how to operate the parachute, flight controls, and how to get in and out of this aircraft, which actually fits like a small glove, Maddie was fitted into her parachute. The thought of a parachute made me a little apprehensive, but I think the scariest part about this whole process was noticing the warning signs on the hangar door mechanism. These images made me more uncomfortable than thinking about doing spins and loops in the pits. Try that hammerhead where we go straight up, turn around, and come straight back down. Sure. 
All right, this one is my favorite for sure. All right, so I'm gonna take control. You have control. I have control. All right, I don't see anybody in front of us. I'm gonna make a radio call. Um, so we're gonna do it just like we did the loop. So we're gonna dive for a bunch of airspeed. We're gonna pull, but once we're going straight up, we're going to just fly straight up, okay? And then once we run out of airspeed, I'm gonna kick the rudder. We're gonna turn around, and then we're gonna fly straight back down, and then pull. Level. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Alright, there's 180. We're gonna pull. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And now I look out the left of the airplane. We're going straight up. Run out of speed. Take the rudder. Stop it. Go straight back down. And then we pull out of it. How are you feeling? Good! Alright, uh, do you want to give that one a shot? Not really! <laughs> do you want me to put a couple maneuvers together and just kind of go wild for a second? Yeah! Alright, okay, so we're going to start with a loop, alright? Okay. Cool, so we're going to start with a loop. Okay, I'm going to have you squeeze your legs! Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze! Coming out of the loop, I'm going to go into a hammerhead. Into the hammerhead. I'm going to roll the airplane a little bit. Run out of speed. Roll the level. And we're going to do a roll as fast as we can. Okay? Okay. 
So we're looking for a speed of 130, and then heels on the horizon, and then roll. Pull, 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 and roll. Faster, 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 faster. Woo! -hoo! Woo! Nice. All right. And uh, do you want me to do the hammerhead, or would you like to do it yourself? I can do it. Yeah. All right. Okay. I have control. You have control. I have control. We need to climb up just a little bit more for this one. Okay. Just for safety's sake. All right. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Alright, so there's 160, there's two, or 180. Go, 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 run out of Feel the music on the stereo. As we let the rhythm take control. Wow. We're going to dance like we don't care. Keep on popping bottles like we're So, like I said, we want a speed of about 130 or better, which we're there. We're going to just pull till our heels are on the horizon, right about there. Let go of the elevator, and then just aileron over. You can do more aileron or less aileron. Oh, that's friggin' awesome. Barely any rudder at all, uh, but super, super docile. You want to give it a shot? Control. Yeah, the controls. Yeah, the controls. So when you say barely any rudder, is it a little bit of rudder in the rest of the roll? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So we've got our speed. All right, trip it up. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's so freaking <laughs> fun! Oh my goodness, that's better than the Oh, dude, I love it. I right. love it. All right, I want to do one more. Thing. Okay, uh, right. what I want you to do is I okay. want you to speed up to 170. Okay. Pull heels on the horizon and do more aileron and do two rolls in a row. Okay. There's 170. There you go. Two rolls in a row. Woo hoo 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 hoo! Woo hoo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, that's awesome! <laughs> nice. Okay. All right. What's next? Next one is a loop. All right. Okay. So this one we want 160 or better. 180 is preferred. All right. You could probably just talk me through this one. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And so um, then you're just gonna smoothly pull. And I'll say pull, pull, pull for more, more G's. Okay. Um, you don't have a G meter up there, so I'll kind of talk you through it. And I'll say more, 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 less, less, less. All right. There's 170. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit more nose low. There we are. Perfect. 180 is fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and start pull, pull, pull. Pull, 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 a little bit more, perfect, right there, pull, 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 and there's a stall, release, there you go, perfect, and pull, 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 nice, you know kind of how far the stick can come back, I want you to try one more, 
uh, pulling just like you did, but as you're going through the vertical, that's when you start releasing the G-forces. Uh, maybe release a little bit of stick pressure. Okay. Let's go for one more. We've got plenty of altitude. We've got clear airspace right. ahead of us. All right. Whenever you're ready. You're at 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, 3.2. Perfect. And start pull, 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 3G, 3.5, 3.2, 3.0. Perfect. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> oh, I love it. How are you feeling? Oh, I feel great. Awesome. I think I did see it first, but now it's like, my body's like, hey, whatever. Yeah, I recognize what was going on. Yeah. And now it's here to play. Yep. All right. Um, you want, you want me to do what you uh, have? Yeah. Do you have the control? I have the control. You have the control? Okay. So we, uh, we set it up just the same as a loop. So 160 or better. 170, 180 works awesome. We're going to pull the tail vertical. And then just like I was talking to uh, uh, your daughter, the uh, out the left of me have that little star. We're going to line that up with the horizon and fly vertical for a minute. All right. Once we uh, run out of airspeed right around 40 knots, I'm going to kick full left rudder. And at the same time, I'm going to add right aileron, so I'll be cross controlled, and forward elevator to kind of keep it on axis. So that it's, we're just uh, yawing rather than yaw roll and pitch all at the same time. Cool? All right. All right. Feel free to follow me along on the controls. And we'll go right ahead. Okay, 170, we'll pull the vertical. Okay, flying it straight up, straight up, straight up. Running out of airspeed, kick. Stop it with the opposite rudder. Fly straight down so you build airspeed so you don't accelerate the stall as you pull out. <laughs> awesome! I love that feeling at the top. You want to give that one a shot? Yeah. All right, you have to go. I'm just All right. I'll help you with when to kick. The worst right. thing that can happen is we go into a spin. And we're looking for 170, right? Yep. All right. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Three, two, one, kick. There you go. Perfect. Slowly start pulling out as you build air speed. The Pitts 2SB has a gross weight of just over 1,600 pounds and is powered by a Lycoming 540 with 260 horsepower. This aircraft felt very responsive but also flew very stable. However, I did notice, maybe because of the short fuselage, that the trim ball had a hard time staying in the middle. But just maybe it was my poor footwork. Do uh, a spin. All right. Yeah, I'm good. We can do a spin. Perfect. We've got plenty of altitude. Uh, do you want to go for it yourself? Do you want me to do one first and we'll climb back up? Just just talk to me. Are we doing... Uh, no, we're going we're gonna to do a power on. Uh, power off. Okay. Yeah, so power off stall. Uh, and then full pedal, full pedal, aft elevator, aft elevator, uh, roughly around three rotations, four rotations, we can start our recovery. Okay. I'm okay to start slowing down? Yep, yep. So now you can start kind of pulling your power back, slowing her down, and getting ready for the spin. Yeah, that was awesome. Uh, have you 
ever seen what doing outside aileron does to a spin? No, uh-uh. So, like, when you stall, so my controls real fast. All right, you have the controls. My controls. So when you stall, like, let's say the wing drops to the left, right? Okay. Student's reaction is right aileron. Yeah. So I'm going to show you what that right aileron does during a spin. Uh, okay. Uh, I know what it does right before you right before you spin because a uh, girl put me into, into a spin in the Cessna 150. Yeah, and so because it, it changes the, the angle of attack on your wings, you get a lot of adverse yaw, uh, adding drag to your left wing, decreasing drag to your right wing, and so the airplane yaws much faster. So the way I'm going to demo this is I'm going to get into a fully stabilized spin and then add the aileron. I want you to feel the difference, okay? okay. So this is kind of to help emphasize why we don't want to play with aileron during spin or during uh, stall practice. Okay, so right now I'm just straight back. Alright, so now we're pretty stabilized, right? Yep. I'm gonna add that in or not. Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah! Right? Wow! Right? Yeah! That's definitely a good one. Yeah. Is that just because of the way to get you? Yeah. Okay, I put my head clear for a second on that. Wow! <laughs> that was freaking awesome! Oh. Right, then can we fly upside down for a minute? Yeah. yeah. Um, so the way we're going to set that up, just flying inverted, is uh, we're going to do an aileron roll, but stop it in the middle. Okay. Um, it's going to take quite a bit of nose forward pressure because it is trimmed for plus 1G. Okay. And we're going to be going to negative 1G. So it's going to be a pretty hefty push. Um, so what I'll do is I will get us inverted, hold us inverted, and then I'll have you take over, okay? Okay. All right, you ready? I'm ready. We got plenty of altitude. I'm just going to lower the nose, double check no one's in front of us. All right, cool. So we got our airspeed. We're ready to go. So we'll, go ahead, we'll pull the nose up. And there we are. All right. Okay. You have control. I have the control. Okay. And I can't see the VSI, so are we level? Uh, just uh, we're climbing slightly, but that's fine. Okay. All right. So just looking out front. Level your wings. There you go. Beautiful. We're holding altitude upside down. Son of a gun. Nose uh, negative to roll out. Uh, I would just roll. Just roll? Yeah. Okay. Coming out. Yep. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, so the, the Super Decathlon does invert it pretty well. After sailing with the family for a year and a half throughout the Mediterranean and across the Atlantic, this was probably the next coolest thing I've ever done. As a disclaimer, this video was not sponsored in any way by Full Deflection, but I just wanted to give an awesome shout out to Kendra and Sam for the awesome experience. Remember, if you like this video, hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and we'll see you next time.